I think, certainly if I'm the leader, for a future uh, Scotland uh, round, I don't think we should just lease. I think we should take an equity stake so that actually if companies are benefiting, then that benefit, that profit is coming to us. So I will, I will instruct for the next round uh, an equity stake uh, in our uh, renewables. And I think there's also an advantage of having, why not, why, why do we not have a national renewable energy company? I think we should. And that's something that I think, again, would help to make sure that the benefit of that amazing potential that we've got of renewables is not kept in the hands of profitable companies, but shared with the people. Well, well the disgrace that Scotland is one of the few countries that found oil and got poorer, mm -hmm. and that is why our kids are in poverty today. And the lessons there are clear, and we must heed them when it comes to renewables, because uh, Scotland's potential when it comes to renewables is enormous. We have got such a significant percentage of uh, the world's access to all forms of renewables. It's too late for us to have a sovereign wealth fund when it comes to oil, but it's not too late when it comes to renewables. And we need to ensure that that revenue is being generated and reinvested in our national health service and in other uh, public services. We've got a big opportunity here. If we can take this sort of technology forward, we can build it in Scotland, we can put it into production in Scotland, we can generate clean, cheap energy in Scotland, put it into a national energy company so that we can provide that cheap, uh, clean, cheap energy to our own citizens. And that will also create skilled jobs in building that technology to sell it elsewhere. So we've got a huge opportunity here and we cannot miss the boat this time.